because they're running way behind. They were bowling while we were away. All bait. Coming up with a double in the seventh and eighth frames. One on each lane. Here in the eighth now, Bill Straub, the leader, the tournament leader as well, leaving a nine pin on the right lane. A solid nine, just like we saw Baker leave in the earlier match. Straub has had no really good breaks in this match. He's bowled so well through eight frames. <laughs> Big Bill Straub uh, told me how he's going to try to play the championship uh, a pair of lanes. He says he's going to play it somewhere around the third arrow, and uh, he's stuck with that strategy so far. He's kept it in the pocket. There you see the story visually. Straub needs a strike here in the ninth to keep ahead of the pin count. He's only 21, ahead, 11 pins ahead now. He doesn't want it to drop down to 9 or 10 by not striking. Gets what he needed on that left lane. Bill Straub, Lincoln, Nebraska. The Rolaids trophy is in the form of a plaque. It's beautiful, framed in red being held by Bert Page, Vice President of American Chickle, makers of Rolaids. There's Bert. Good to have him back. But we do miss David Wirtz, Vice President of Warner Lambert, parent company. But he's in sunny Puerto Rico. <laughs> Not bad. I'll be with a chance to cut the lead to one. He does it. Imagine that stringing three. Dad's a little uptight. Father Jim Albee looks on. Mike, with a, just a critical strike there, has put himself in a situation where he can still win the tournament. He only trails by one pin. It's just the man who can perform in the 10th frame. One pin difference with a turkey working. Albee can take the lead for the first time in the match with this strike. And a formidable task in the semifinal game. Going against Earl Anthony, bowled at 225 to Anthony's 211. Four, five, Bo. Wow. He really trusted it. He thought he could get it back, but we said this lane's tighter. Look at how wide that ball is. It doesn't quite finish. Left a three, five, six for a left-hander. That is it. You got to watch. You don't chop this. Mm -hmm. Cleaning those spectacles, Bill Straub. He has to make this spare to have any chance of winning. Just gets the three, five, six. Albee with a strike would finish with two, 13. That would make Bill Straub need to spare in seven to win. Almost chops the two, five, three, five, and gets the six out. I'm not used to seeing those left-handers leave those. They always come back and strike when they're bowling with me. <laughs> That's right. We had three of them in this field of five. For Bill Straub, the situation is this. If he strikes on this ball, he wins. If he doesn't strike, he needs a spare and a six count to be, to win his first individual title. He has won a doubles tournament in the Pro Tour, but he's never been a winner on his own. He's a one shot away from that goal right now. have it locked up. He needs to make this and get a six count to win. And of all spares for a big power player to leave that is difficult is the 10 pin. Now for the line bowlers and the straight ball bowlers, this is an easy spare for those big crankers. They really have to be sharp to make it. He needs it to win. Spare plus six to win 17,000. Runner up to get 9,500. nothing to be embarrassed about. He's going through a tough field, but right now, if Bill Straub can get six pins on his last ball, he wins his first individual championship. And Chris, he has bowled so well these first 10 frames. The best he could shoot is 217, but he could have had a much bigger game if he could have had any luck in the carry at all. Here's the shot.
invite you to stay tuned. The next story, most of these stations, WBA World Light Heavyweight Championship. Right here is Burke Page gives Straub the trophy. And, of course, pool champions, trick shot wizardry is coming up. And a little wizardry all week on the part of Bill Straub, who had a 217 to Mike Alvey's 212, a five.